There it is there. Perfect. Alright, what's happening, fellas? It's your boy, Hardcorn. We're back with a new game today. This is the Devil May Cry 2013 remake. It was met with some uh, mixed reception because it's not the same game that they had for previous four ones, but it's still an enjoyable experience regardless. I've been practicing this for the last few days so we can make it through there at least in a meaningful amount of time. I also did an unmute the game. But it's a pretty fun experience. I actually uh, like this game a lot. It was This is very, very fun. I couldn't believe that there was like, you know, they made something this fun, like, when they did that. Because Devil May Cry 4, you know, was obviously unfinished. But this game, though, this is like 100% finished, and it's like, it's okay. Now, I didn't pay attention to any sort story beats or anything like that. So, uh, I am pretty much experiencing the story for what's going on for the first time. So let's get started. There we go. Careless. You left a trail. Now he's on to you. What are you talking about? Who's on him? The hunter demon. <gasps> he's here. Day for a hangover. Get your filthy fucking claw off my trailer. Okay, I need to fix this few things right here. I can't see the sound and I can't see anything else. Okay. Hi Masher, we're just playing some uh, Devil May Cry over here. It's the remake from 2013. I just wanted to like listen to see what the cutscenes are going on inside there. Because I have never seen any of this stuff before. Well, like, I've never watched the cutscenes in preparation for today. Like, 
Like this game is actually like really fun. This is like, this is great. It feels good. It's like, wow. I was wrong to have judged a book by its cover, at least when this came out. Dante, this way. Who said that? I just love how Dante though is like absolutely like, instead of making Dante like at least somewhat charming because he gives like a funny, um, funny one-liners or anything like that. No, Dante in this game sounds bored as fuck all the time. It's great. <laughs> The dress up in slow motion was very cool. It's actually like, I was like actually impressed that they did the whole Austin Powers thing. Like Dante looks like so ridiculous in this. Like this game is like really weird in some aspects because it doesn't play like the previous titles. It just play it plays like something completely different. And I honestly appreciate that it went it for its own identity. Yeah, this is really fun. It's really fast, it feels good in motion, it's like can't believe it. My name is Kat, I'm not a demon. I'm not a demon, I'm not. How come I can see you clearly? I'm a medium, a, a psychic. I can phase into limbo and communicate with you. I can see you, talk to you, but I'm not actually in limbo with you. If I pull the trigger? I'll die. I'm risking my life here for you. I want to help. I don't need your help. The hunter has dragged you into limbo. I can get you out. I've been down here before. I know how to get out. If I whatever shit sucking demon dragged you in here. You don't want to fight the hunter. He's not your regular demon. Follow me. Now. Yes, yeah, like Dante is like super emo in this game and it's like fantastic. Like he sounds like he wants to kill himself for like every second of the day. Like he hates being here. Damn it. You can knock all those enemies up there into the, like the tilt a whirl, so it's actually a very easy kill to go destroy all of them. But I want to get my stylish points up a little bit higher. This whole first level is filled with like tons of little goodies too, but I've already picked them up because I have I played this a little bit. I've been playing this a lot actually. I like this game a lot. Good morning there, Blabberpuss. Welcome to Devil May Cry. We go live to our eye in the sky. 
I, I mean, I don't like the character himself, Dante. I just enjoy the yeah, I just enjoyed uh, Dante mechanically. He's like super, super, super duper fun. Oh, well, I actually can't believe I got the reflect off of that one. Well, I mean, um, Trillion Stab lasts like so long, it doesn't matter too much. Thankfully, I'm able to move as like, quickly as possible with it, and those um, explosives they throw are super slow. Well, at least on human, they are. can't be saved by confusion. That's true because this guy is a sadly a case of mistaken identity because you know he's Dante but not the Dante people know which threw people off initially which was a uh, very very bad for uh, the whole press release behind this game. It actually hurt it quite a lot. I've always uh, I have always defended this game ever since I played it on the Xbox 360 because this game is like you know it doesn't play as well as like 3, 4, or 5, but it plays something like different. It tried things differently and I admire that so much. They wanted to make Dante a little different and that was just fine. Like they wanted to, you know, like instead of making... Dante is like traditionally he's like super cocky all the time in like his regular games. In this one he's cocky in here too, but like he's a much more serious man. They wanted to try for that angle. And it um it, it didn't work out too well in their favor, obviously. Damn it. Because I've always said uh, this game, if this game ever got a, um, if this game was not called Devil May Cry, um, it could be called uh, something else. It could have been called anything else. Here it is. He's going to say it. A million years. There you go. Because the guy who made this uh, game has a lot of animosity towards the original Dante, the same way as I do. But it's um, he uh, the they did that right there to antagonize the old fans. Was to um, you know, we'll just say, oh, Dante has um, he he has the wig fall on his head. It's the same thing as Dante's, and he's like, oh, not in a million years, right? Yeah, that's that's great. The thing is, this guy looks more like a Nero more than any, anyone else. Hunters are brutal fighters. So am I. 
This guy has a dip vagina for a face. Oh yeah, this game is like a massive asshole to like the old fans. Like they, they um, he uh, constantly antagonizes them at like every step of the way. Look, he's doing the pose from uh, the, the cover of Devil May Cry 3. Poor mother. I don't know my mother, but if you're calling me a son of a bitch, you wouldn't be the first. Are you okay, Dante? How do you know my name? My boss knows you. He wants to meet. Please? I helped you back there. I wish they made this guy I Nero. Like, he, he looks exactly like, you know, how Nero is, is looking in 4 and 5. So it would be like, if this was like a totally Nero's game, I would have been okay with it. That would have been a great spinoff. Because all this, all this Dante is is just Nero. Terrorist attacks could take place anywhere, anytime, and when you least expect it. We have your scent, son of Sparta. Now is just a matter of time. Oh, I love Mundus. He's just a big old cue ball. <laughs> Alright, pretty good. Now that nice triple S. Home truths. Just like every Devil May Cry game, I think, thus far, th this game has uh, 20 missions. So they have 20 missions to get this, to get all of their story done and done. Welcome I mean, to the order. Not what I was expecting. That's the idea. Uh, that's it. The demons are amongst us, Dante. <gasps> among us! Oh, oh my God! Well, this <laughs> Epic this Among Us reference, us people. Helpless. We're fighting back. We are a small handful of freedom fighters. We are the last and only line of defense. Defense? You got no chance. We don't leave things to chance. We've accumulated vast intelligence on the demons and their collaborators. World leaders, bankers, pop stars. We can hit them where it hurts. Okay. 
There he is. Dante, it really is you. You don't remember me. No. <laughs> How much of your childhood do you remember? <laughs> Not much. I had meningitis when I was seven. Why my memory? Why? <laughs> they told me I had a car accident that resulted in total amnesia. Age? Seven. Your point? Angitis <laughs> is a human affliction. You are not human, Dante. All war is fought with deception, and you have been deceived. And your past has been hidden from you for a reason. Rewind a bit. Who are you again? My name is Virgil. I established the order to help find a way to fight the demons. Besides swords and bullets, you mean? Such weapons can win battles, but not the war. We use force, yes, but. We also use intelligence, politics, propaganda. You really believe you can make a dent? Make a dent? With the two of us working together, I believe that we can defeat them. So that's what this is about. You need me to fight the demons, help you save the world. What else were you planning on doing with your life? You guys do seem really nice, but uh, more of a loner type. Trust issues, work alone, that kind of thing. Oh my god. Dante, I don't think you understand what is at stake. If you want to leave, turn your back on me, I'm powerless to stop you. But you'll be making a grave mistake. Not just for yourself, but for mankind. For mankind? Yes. What makes you think I'd give a shit? <laughs> That's our boy Virgil. That's right. Show me what? Who you really are. God, they are so up their own ass, they don't even, like, know what to do for their own lives. Like, seriously, Virgil is, like, he's so high and mighty. <laughs> because in the regular series, you know, like, the regular games we all know, Virgil is always, you know, like, he's towing the line, he's edgy as fuck. This is where it happens if, like, Virgil just goes, like, just 10 degrees of more, and he, and he turns into this guy. Oh, God, he's even got a fucking fedora, too. <laughs> Why? <laughs> this was your home. I don't remember it. You will. Cat, open the gateway. What are you doing? Our world and limbo are very closely superpositioned. They collide in places causing what we call rifts. It's here in the rifts. We can create gateways to and from them, but everybody sounds like they're about to fall asleep. <laughs> Especially Dante. You smell too good. What's in the can? A compound I created based on an old Wiccan recipe. Sea salt, shark oil, iron shavings, desiccated squirrel semen, wolf hair. Good stuff. Go ahead. The house full of secrets. I found mine. Now it's your turn. Hell, I get back. I'll take care of that. Just be careful. You can get rough with me. I like it rough. Oh. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Is this really going to work? He doesn't seem to care. He's wrong. Just like you were when I first found you. You know, when I got this game, I looked at the little Steam community page to see, like, you know, what do people have to say about this game? It's not obviously a very positive situation, but it's like, people actually out here waifuing Cat. I'm like, that. I don't think that really works, guys. Cat is not really, you know, real waifu material, but hey, people really know how to make a mountain out of a molehill, for sure. So this was my home. Well, show me your secrets. This mission normally has like, I think almost 15 cutscenes inside it. 
Because when I was playing this earlier this week, I had to hit the skip button a lot. This place is supposed to teach you um, a bunch of tutorials and a bunch of like other stuff. There's no real way to really complete this fast. But in the Ephedor, Virgil kind of works as a pimp, I but um, I don't think it really... He himself is a pimp, I don't see it. Dad. What's for breakfast, Dad? Uh-oh. Found you. I mean, there. Most of these cutscenes are skippable in the game. Some of them are not because they're loading screens at the same time. But um, I can, uh, for the most part, I can skip all of these. But like, there's so there are so many like little vignettes right there like like that where he's like, "What are you trying to show me?" There's a ton of cut-ins like that in this level. It's super slow because this this whole tutorial stage also serves as like a massive story dump too. Yeah. Uh, hell yeah. And we get our first demon weapon, the Arbiter. The Arbiter is probably like my favorite um, weapon in the game. It's really, really fun. <laughs> Squash you like a fucking bug. You are so screwed. Like you can, I can just straight up. I think I, for the most part, tried using the um, well, tried using what's it called? I used mostly Arbiter for like the entire playthrough of this game, and it's like Arbiter is just so so good, even unupgraded. And yes, I did see the um. Latest AT trailer they put out for uh, Sora. There, I don't know. If, I don't understand how there's people out there saying that there is um how that how that is going to be Anne Rose. But either way, if it's Anne Rose or not, I'm I'm still getting the newest character. This is actually one of the first characters in a long time that I haven't been excited to actually get, because it's um I know little to nothing about Sora, so it's like very difficult for me to understand like why do I want to uh, see her uh, in the game oh yeah home run motherfucker oh that's so good and yes, the Arbiter is an axe. Dante. Did I, hear that right? I think it is going to be Sora, but either way it goes, it's like, new character for me? Oh wait, I don't need to go that way. Oh, fuck off. Damn it. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's a good hit. A little slow motion hit with the screaming. That's like that's good. That's good stuff. That was me. I remember this. I re I wish it was Ina instead because like if it's you know. Because Ina's a really cool character, and I'd like to see her in. Sora is like, I'm kind of iffy on the whole thing. It just doesn't feel like. Her her time is here now, you know. I'll see how um what happens with Sora when she comes out, because that's how I was feeling with um Felicia, and Felicia mechanically is like one of my most favorite characters in the game, so maybe who knows like, what will redeem Felicia is the ability for her for to him. be like uh really really fun, like in terms of a uh, mechanical game stance. This game is like so loud. Am I dreaming? Oh fuck, I almost fell off. Oh yeah. Like every time you go to this area right here that we're in, this is the air this is always a tutorial area. Or we're doing a um secret mission. Like there is like this is like a these are always forced tutorial segments. You have to do them. They offer little to no story significance. Sora at first was kind of meh for you. I understand that. Like, I have been fortunate enough to get her, like, to be at 3-5. And you can actually, like, use a skill spam build with her. Because those are actually very fun. But for the most part, it's like... I don't really see much in need for, for Miss Sora. But we'll see. If, uh, since the video is out now for Sora, we'll be able to figure out, you know, if she's, uh, what she is when she comes out in, I think, the next, what, two weeks? Okay. So what else have we got? Two weeks sounds about right. I like how they have that stock image in the background of like a regular just forest. You expected a character on Saki's event and it intrigued you, but it's like her heart's in the right place, but also pretty stubborn. You expected Sakiwa, Sakiya to be the stubborn one, and the other one to be the the passive one, but no. Mom? Not for sure. That's not what happened. I love you, Dante. Demon. 
demons. <laughs> uh, fucking demons. Oh yeah, that's a good hit. Oh my god, what is that, Peter? Your father gives you devil weapons and your mother gives you angel weapons. Oh yeah, there you go. I just love using Arbiter because it hits so hard and it's like, it's like they put so much work into the animations of Arbiter and it feels so good to just whack an enemy over the head with like, an, like a big 80 pound axe. Ugh. Oh, that's right, you have to pull that towards you. Because you're not supposed to have the glide upgrade here. So you have to, like, pull all that sort of things to you and break the wall. You have to do a whole bunch of, like, really stupid stuff. Bam! Oh my god. There's some spiders back there. What's this? Oh, this is another fight. A blue rose. I'm really glad this game runs well because um, I have this on like maximum settings right now and it's uh, it has not skipped a beat yet. Like it shows a solid 60 over there on my end. But we're getting another tutorial. This one is for um, the Angel Bringer. We have two whipping techniques in this game. You have the bringer and you have the pusher, which is a very, very um, bad way of doing things. I'd rather have one, but that's what they wanted to do, so I have to accept it. I do like this area though, like whenever we go to do the tutorial stuff in here, because like it's always such a weird and interesting area. So when the Celestial Fox is into me, see they acknowledge that sort of part with how uppity and like kind of bitchy she is. So she disrespected Kato and she had to know her place and then even Fuma beat her. It's a very humbling moment, which is good. I agree, that's a good thing that they did that sort of stuff. Sometimes they gotta know a you know a good old fashioned correction.
Ba bam! She slam! Oh yeah! Come here. Oh wait, I need to hit that. Good hit. Oh, nothing much, Jermaine. It's a pretty cool time over here. We're playing some uh, Devil May Cry remake. This game's actually, like, really fun. I, I, I enjoy this game a lot. I really do. I'm not so much a fan of how they keep interrupting the game with the, the story. <laughs> like, we literally went from one cutscene, had a one-minute fight, and then you go to another cutscene. Like, wow, this is a, this is a lot. <laughs> His dad looks like Benny from uh, New Vegas. Oh wow, that's cool. And they broke in. I saw him. <gasps> Mundus. Holy shit. She gave her life so that we could escape. I gotta say, I love this, like, gothic painting style. This is really cool. I love the way this looks. I got meningitis. That's a human disease. <laughs> That's right. We're going to fight Kingpin, guys. Kingpin is the cause of all the bad things in the world. But how you're confused on what she's going to look like. Is default Sora going to be, um, you know, middle school or Kitsune? I imagine it would probably be, what, the middle school version, wouldn't it? Because uh, the Kitsune form is when she gets totally awakened. So is that, like, when she uses her powers or something? Or is that going to be, like, you know... An on off situation. Like, Goku doesn't sit around all day in, you know, Super Saiyan form. He got a. He turns it off. Maybe Kitsune form is like, you know, a powered up form. You know what I'm saying? Oh, God. I don't know if we'll reach, well, yeah, I don't know if we'll reach this, oh, oh, okay, <laughs> whoops. I don't know if we'll reach this level today, but there is a level later on um, that is absolutely horrendous to look at. Like, not in terms of like, oh, it's designed poorly, it's like, it's, no, it has like the worst visual style in the game. I, I get like a damn near motion sickness just looking at it. Though, like, my probably, um... Though it's probably because, like, when I played it the first time, I was hopped up on painkillers. So I could, like, get past the, the immense amount of pain that my mouth is in. But it's like... I, I replayed it again, and it's like... Twin brother. It wasn't that bad, but it still looks... It's still not very good. Our mother gave these to us. Our mother. Okay. Kitsune is your probably your favorite time in all costume. Yeah, it's pretty good. I bought it for Asuka, and it looks really, really nice. I like it. It's probably one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Virgil, I just love how he's like, yeah, yeah, that's right, Dante. That's right. <laughs> Join my cause. Be my tool. Mother. 
mother used to bring us here. Tell me everything. Some things have always been. There have always been angels. There have always been demons. And there have always been a war. Nine millennia ago, one demon rose through the ranks to take power over the dark hordes. The strongest, the fullest, Mundus. But Mundus did not rise alone. At his right hand was his most trusted lieutenant, Bloodbrother. Sparta. But Sparta betrayed him. He fell in love with an angel, Eva. The secret union between angel and demon was inconceivable. But it happened. And with it came new life. Twin boys. You and I. A hybrid of the warring angel and demon races. When Mundus learned of Sparta's betrayal, his fury knew no limit. He hunted the lovers down. Evil was murdered by his own hand. And to Sparta, he demanded a more brutal fate. Endless punishment and pain. But even as evil was destroyed, and Sparta was imprisoned for eternity, each knew that the seed for their revenge had already been sown. Because according to legend, the only beings that can slay a demon king are Nephilim, a hybrid of angel and demon. Those hybrids now exist, you and I. That's a really nice thematic approach right there. You have Virgil on the left in the demon side and Dante on the right for the for the angel side. But there were two Nephilim, and each had been hidden well. Sparta armed his sons. The rebellion for Dante. The Yamato for Virgil. So Mundus killed our mom and imprisoned our dad. Yes. And we're the offspring of angels and demons. Demon father, angel mother. We are Nephilim. The only ones that can slay the demon king. Oh my god. Why? I don't need a reiteration. I got it. She's spotter. Fucking demon collaborators. You're being dragged into limbo. I'll find Kat. She'll get you out. Stand firm. Trap him. <laughs> Oh, fuck, damn it. No, Dante, you have to hit. Oh my god, I'm just whipping everything now. Bam! Get out of here. Ravagers. This guy, these enemies, the, the Ravagers, are probably my favorites in the game. Because they're just gigantic chainsaw wielding assholes. The intimacy never mentioned if Sora's transformation is permanent or not. You're not sure if it's got the bigger tits or anything like that. The Kitsune design is a much preferred ending. The Kitsune design is very nice. I, I like that one a lot more than I do like her regular version because her regular version just looks like, you know, just some kid at school like you'd see at Gosha. Alright, there we go. That's the mission. It's completed. That whole mission is just so you can actually go get the glide tutorial and then unlock it. If you have the glide already, you can just skip the entire thing. The world's most powerful investment bank. Who runs it? CEO, Kyle Ryder. 
human vessel, the physical manifestation of Mundus, the demon king. Through debt, he controls everything. To Mundus, the world is a factory farm for human souls, and he likes to keep his animals monitored and docile. The monitoring is done by the Raptor News Corporation, a global network of CCTV cameras, satellites, and spots. The way he keeps us docile is uh, a little more insidious. What is it? It's in your hand. Planet Earth's most popular soft drink, virility. The demons are spiked. <laughs> it's okay. It has no effect on us, only humans. It's the bottom of your hand. <laughs> so what's the plan? That's the Hellgate. A conduit from which Mundus draws his power. While he's connected to the Hellgate, he's immortal. But we get him away from the Hellgate, our swords will do the rest. So, how do we do that? We'll get his attention. Mundus is petty. He's impulsive. If we hit him where it hurts, let his anger rule him. I believe we can draw him out. Okay, so, to kill Mundus, we need to drag him away from the Hellgate. We do that by pissing him off. Roughly speaking, yes. And we piss him off by taking out the Raptor News Network and Varilla. That's it. What do you want to do first? I love how Virgil has that face where he's just like, yes, I know. I am 100% using you, Dante. You are being tricked the entire time. It, it, is, so, it is so great. Mmm, virility. It reminds me of the little can I have right next to you right now of a similar color. Stay low. Mundus doesn't know I exist, so I'll remain hidden until we're ready to strike. Cat knows the virility effect. What lies beneath you. She will be your guide. It'll kill you. I love how this game is like just 100% giving digs at everything in like modern society. It's like it, it, it is just so heavy handed at everything it attempts to talk about. <laughs> Damn it, no. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's good. It's always the thing about these games, it's like, whenever they have the fist weapons, they have to either feel really good or they're gonna feel really bad. This game is like, has the very nice middle ground of a good, of a good bad fist. It does not have the visceral power of the real impact of Beowulf, Gilgamesh, and um, of Beowulf and Gilgamesh, but it's, um, it, it still feels good regardless. I love hitting things with it. I love hitting things with it. Kuramachi Keito represents the, j uh, the class of Japanese longbow archery. The demonic eye effects are awesome as well. That's right. She ain't gonna miss. I'll tell you that much. 
a really good supporter in general too. Thanks to the free snares. Virility is a weird name for a drink, but I 100% understand where they're coming from on it. Because virility is, you know, like it talks about like the life itself, the life elixir of life. So it's like, you know, what do you want to drink? Oh, let's drink a life. Con let's drink a um, elixir of life. However, it just all it does is control your life. They really did not need a cut in like this every single time. I could have 100% done without that. Coming down to meet ya. Oh, here's the last one I was missing. I was looking for this like the uh, earlier today. Oops, I need um. You have to use a bellion for this. There we go. I just want to fill your dark soul with light. Ah. This isn't good. It's the walls. Get out the, here. the walls. I mean, all they really could have done with is like have a nice, quick little camera pan over all this stuff, and that would I, that would have been just fine. No, we gotta have um, a really, really bad cutscene every single time I want to do something. Oh, damn. Damn it, girls. We fucked up. <laughs> I mean, that did take a lot of leaping to get through that area because it's, um, the floor keeps crumbling out from under you. So you have to keep, uh, constantly moving forward and finding a new area to stand on, except it's, uh, not the easiest situation to get through. Sometimes they crumble out from under you a little too quickly and, uh, you lose your footing instantly. 
At that point, it's really just like rote memorization. can take hours if not days to prepare so why not can it for instant use later and they do with the cheese <laughs> where'd you learn this stuff Virgil taught me the basics of demonology and occultism felt I had natural talent for it said it would help me to focus on something constructive instead of instead of what instead of focusing on the nightmares okay <laughs> <laughs> Instead of focusing on nightmares. God, that is everything about this game like is so ridiculous. It feels like I'm playing like a Suda 51 game, but it's like half as good. If you guys, if you guys ever played like Shadows of the Damned, this uh, this game feels like it, but um, Shadows of the Damned is a much, much better game. <laughs> like if this game did, like took itself like less seriously and was a bit more tongue in cheek about certain things, uh, I would uh, this would be like a cult classic for sure. But this game is up its own ass a lot of the time, and it's uh, really, really apparent. Kill. Come on, then, you little shits. You can't taunt in this game, which is very, very sad because I love taunting in these games so much. It's like a natural thing in Devil May Cry games. Why take away one of the mainstays of the franchise like that? Ah, oh, that's good. I, I just so wish you could taunt. Taunting doesn't do much, but it's like really nice for just, you know, fucking around with. And that's what these games are really good at, just like fucking around, just beating the shit out of enemies. Crush him. Oh, fuck.
You're getting kind of sort of an Anne Rose fatigue already. She does get mentioned a little bit way too much right now. I understand people are excited for her, but it's just like, I, I get it. I got it the first, you know, 10 minutes she uh, won the poll. I uh, congratulated her and I'm able to move on. I don't know. It's, it's it's just kind of annoying. That it's like I got it. It's like I got it the first time, guys. I really did. She and Rose is a wonderful woman. She, I'm glad she won. But I I don't need a you know a lecture on like oh it's Sora's appearance as the um you know the next character. It's like I got it. Oh, oh whoops. I understand that Anne Rose won. We will probably get Anne Rose in October, dude. It's okay. Cause Anne Rose is just generally like a character. I just, you know, she's nice, but uh, I get it. Yellow, yellow, horny assholes uh, can calm down a little bit, can you? I hope you can at least. It's always a little bit of a laugh riot when you see in like the comment section. They're always like, you know, oh my god, Sora, not Anne Rose. I voted for Anne Rose and she won. Where is she? Always the same. Always the same. Remember his face, people. If you see him, inform the police meeting, but do not approach him. He has a history of physical violence and is a known sexual deviant. This is Bob Bunks, just doing God's work. Just doing God's work. You sure are doing something all right. And now we go to the virility factory. From what I remember though, the virility factory is a, uh, this isn't a very good level because it has a lot of uh, really slow sequences. It's not fun. <laughs> supposed to trust most turn out to be Saint Lamia's orphanage. Oh that's perfect. God. So call yourself human. Don't say you're so full of shit. <laughs> Physical way to reach it. 
protection from our world. Only from Limbo. There's a rift in sight. Rest assured that this has been deemed both safe and beneficial by our trustworthy and ethical scientists. These portions of the level you actually can't, like, jump or move anything. You have to follow Cat the entire time. They are very, very slow, and it's like, ugh, it sucks. Yes, but it was during an out-of-body experience years ago. We were flying around in spirit form. Yeah, in limbo. Virgil says it could be an effective intelligence gathering tool, but I can't do it that way. So, how did you do it before? It was triggered by extreme psychosomatic trauma. Nightmares. What are the nightmares? It's in the past. At least Dante's getting a little bit more talkative now and not so emo anymore. I'm kind of glad about that. Because like I said, like, Dante, like, you know, regular Dante we know from the original Devil May Cry series, he's not likable to me. This guy, like, this version of Dante, though, is 100% unlikable. Virgil in this game, though, is, like, very likable. change the little background music. Alright. You also get why people might just get annoyed. It doesn't help that Anrose is not even introduced at all in action time and in any way, shape, or form. Similar to Shizuru. And you know how you get being an Ingrid fan was when Kiara won. It's like, yeah, it's exactly. A character who has zero vested interest and uh, was not even in the game beforehand won and just totally beat the shit out of your other characters. Because Ingrid was the main story boss in the first place, and then, and then Kiara takes forever and a day to get inside the actual main story. It doesn't make any sense for the most part. It just feels really ham-fisted, and it's like, obviously they're doing what's going to be making the money, but it's uh, not exactly the best. Like Dante's regular VA and like his the the normal games the one through five, uh, Ruben Langdon is actually a very fun character. He really he really makes Dante his own. I don't fault him any any way shape or form for that. Down here. Oh. Right. Obesity. This is actually a really cool part of the level. It's like it's a really big like, you know, warehouse, but you like you have to get it's a vertical segment as well. Like everything's all shaking and weird. Like so the level design, like the way things look in terms of art, I actually really like a lot about this game. It's a, it's a really it's a pretty memorable and it's pretty memorable for those sort of things. I just really wish Dante in this game like wasn't such an unlikable dick. I have a feeling that the people who worked on this game probably worked on something like American McGee's Alice or what or worked on later on to go to um, Shadows of the Damned. This really feels a lot like it. What took you so long? Consume obesity, stupidity, virility.
What the fuck, really? I'm so glad this game has input buffering though. It feels really good because of that. Like it makes getting some of those like tougher inputs out there a lot easier. Alright guys, I just gotta focus when this sort of stuff happens. Hiya! Baby, baby, how that feels. I love, I love those big fat uppercuts. They're so good. They did, the, yes, they did that, do that with Shizuru, just like I said, but uh, not as bad as Rin, where Rin was, has never, ever been mentioned in all previous statements. And uh, she just now exists in the game, like a very beloved time in an OC comes into action time and in against every other OC in the game, it's like there was no chance. They didn't stand. They had a snowball's chance at all. It's, it was very depressing to see that. Get flush. Get streak. Slam. No, I don't have enough for that. Hi, Raptor. Oh, Monster Girl uh, Paradox. Monster Girl Quest Paradox 3 is coming. Wow, I haven't even, um... I haven't even played the first two parts yet. No, I can't say I didn't play the first two parts, because I played, um, a good, uh, a portion of part one first. But I haven't played the other ones yet. See, I'm fine with a cut-in like that that we just had there to show us, like, okay, go over there, reach the no most northern section. Got it. It's simple. Clunk. Ah, uh, there it is. There's a guy. You think Grimmery uh, should put a poll of AT originals and established characters exclusively just to those, like, those single ones? Like seeing Reiko, who has never been introduced at all, and then like no OCs making the top 10 was sad. It's like, well, we, it's the thing is like, we don't know anything about these OCs. We, like, we barely know a thing about them, which is like really bad. Uh oh. Ooh, gotcha. 
Got to put this little sucker on ice. What reason is there for a board to be playable? She's not on the task force. Ingrid isn't either, but they made her playable because, you know, like, why not? When they get introduced in the story like that and they have, like, a model or something, it's, like, it's more or less that they are, are it's an inevitability that they'll get put in the game in terms of playability. I don't like to think too hard on, like, the, what they're going to do, like, make a story justification because it's always going to be half-assed in some sort of way. Oh, baby. Oh, that feels so good. Fuck you, Dante. <laughs> Let's see, of all the characters currently not playable in AT, which one would you like to be added to the roster? It's, um, Ina Winchester is my most, uh, desired pick for that sort of thing. She fits that sort of, she fits the bill for that 100% to be playable. It makes sense for her. But, uh, Reika, the girl who from, um, the previous event who has, like, the big Odachi and, uh, uses the Phoenix powers. Yeah, I want her to be playable. That's a, that's an original I would love to see get playable. Mary got robbed big time for not being playable. She's been there since like what? She's been there since like the very beginning. Having her not be playable is just like a crime in general. I mean, it makes sense. It's like she, she's a, she should be playable. Like she doesn't have anything like mechanically weird. She has to like, they have to figure out, but it's like, it's, it's fists. It's like, how hard is it to make a fist work? How hard do they, how hard do they have to work? to make a fist in general just like not be a total piece of junk. Ooh, an Argent key. Let's go to a bonus stage, everybody. Enemies take damage from within the active zones, okay. Oh no, we're, we're playing a battle royale. We gotta bring them all over here.
Oh god. Stab my ass in the back. I should have just used my fists in the first place. That would have been a lot easier. Great. It is a very weird situation to like why Mary hasn't gotten in because it doesn't make sense for her to be like held back. She's like the perfect character to put into Action Timing in. She would be like the perfect, like, you know, sort of foil to Sue rather than having a person like Yukikaze to be a foil. It's like, because I, uh, I don't like Yukikaze, so it's uh, anyone else is better at this point. Big old gluttony suckers, delicious. Yum yum. Look at that. Demon semen straight from the tap. What in the shooting hell is going on here? The mixing process. But it's the source we're interested in. I'm guessing our succubus is on the other end of that. That's right. This way. Trouble. Give me a minute. Lug him right in the face. It feels so good to do every time. Oh yeah! I'm glad that they're making polls to try to ask, you know, what the players, what do the players want out of the game. But it's like, man, it's a. Uh, it, none of these girls ever stand a chance against some of these like long time uh, AT, not AT like other time in originals. It's like pitting a like a Ford Focus against a Lamborghini. These girls, st these girls did not stand a chance whatsoever. Oops. Oops. Oh, I fucked that up. I love how topical Dante's reference is. That's only like a really like a European and American thing sort of 
thing too. Like I don't know if you guys ever had like in some of the other countries. Did you guys have the Biggest Loser? Which is uh, the Biggest Loser is a weight loss show where you like the competitors compete. You know, like in various tasks, and because it's funny also because they're fat. So it's um, they just have competitors trying to compete to lose weight over the course of the uh, entire um, the competition. And all this, and all Dante's doing is just make references to the show. It's like why? That show ended years ago. But it was popular at the time, so hey, they made it work. The secret ingredients. Oh, this is gonna be a fun mission. You do hope that Grammarie still has their own plans for the release. Sora is the next playable despite being ranked 14 in the in the poll. Well, I mean, they probably may have like a, a ratio of some sorts to, you know, um, playables to non-playables. No, well, not a ratio, but a, um, what is that thing called? Uh, OCs to um, originals to uh, legacy characters. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Come on, Dante. Come on, we can make it to the end. Like Alright, perfect. Oh, wow. It really was an egg timer. Mary being playable after Anne Rose would be totally fair. That would be the Christmas season, so it would make sense for her to have a Christmas outfit along with everybody else as well. Yeah, that would work. Because I I have a very I would strongly predict like obviously we're gonna get Sora next in August. But uh October with Anne Rose, that's uh that is one hundred percent a thing that's gonna happen. That's this game's anniversary, that's Halloween. That's also the time frame for a new character. It's it's literally perfect. There is like no way that they're gonna miss an opportunity like that. Ugh, 
There they go, there's our sucker butt. So you must be the secret ingredient. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Engaging dialogue. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> on this <laughs> I love it the whip is sometimes kind of weird where you have to be like either in the right spot you can't you can't be like you gotta be pretty dead on to hit the whip shut up <laughs> Oh, you're so full of shit, Succubus. Damn it. Yes, like your mother! God damn, that was good. That's why I love Arbiter. Because when they have these big fat enemies, it's like like the succubus. All you have to do is just like the regular three hit combo, and it fucking annihilates her. <laughs> oh, oh, this game is so much fun. Lovely dialogue. Oh, there it goes. Gave her a splitting headache back there. I remember seeing a little clip of this, um, that whole fight right there a long time ago. And I thought like the zoom in right there when he says, you're dumped. I thought they added that in like in editing. No, that's part of the game. I can't, I cannot believe that.
Just die! Oh! I absolutely hate the way Dante's uh, fist weapons look because um, the way the wraps are designed. Oh, we have to skip this cutscene. Bad things happen in there. Bad things happen that'll get my uh, stream age restricted. But um, Dante's fists look absolutely disgusting. They look like uh, gigantic, like they just look like his sleeves attached to Hulk hands. So, and the weapons themselves are just actually gigantic fists gauntlets but it uh, doesn't look as good as because it's a uh, attached to his jacket it's a really bad design Oh goodness. Count. Yeah, the Capcom Succubi have really let themselves go. I mean, did you see that Succubus? She's looking nasty. Looking kind of scuffed, even. You've done well. We've dealt with the Succubus. That will have hurt Mundus and got his attention. Now to land the second blow, disable Mundus's monitoring network. Raptor News Tower. Controlled by Mundus. They have a monopoly over the world's media. News, advertising, entertainment, mind control. Yeah, and surveillance. They spy on the populace through their network of satellites, routers, CCTV cameras. Yeah, I noticed that bit. What's the plan? Okay. The Raptor News Network is run by a demon, Bob Barbus. Bob Barbus is a demon? So he's more than just a fucking dick. And yeah, he's in that tower. <laughs> Not that tower. That one. Huh? In Limbo, that's not a reflection. That's the real deal. It's a prison. And Barbus rules it cruelly. There's no mercy and no escape. They use an entirely different take for Virgil okay, right wait. there. You'll have to go alone this time. Okay, I can't follow where you're headed. Alone is fine. She's done enough. On the plus side, there won't be any cameras down there. Good. Dante, we don't know much about this demon. I'm sure it'll be lovely. This game doesn't really have a lot of easing when it goes from the, uh, the CGI cutscenes to the in-game cutscenes. They have to, like, start and stop most times. Or use like a really weird transition effect. Oh, 
Like right there, they did that again. Well, Bob, now I get why your point of view is so upside down. Oh, Dante. Now we're in like the underwater level, which is probably actually one of my favorite levels in the game. Like this whole level, like the area you're in is really, really cool. This is supposed to be like this whole little first area is your tutorial on how Eric's works, which is your fists. I remember when I first got these weapons though and I was really fumbling around with how these fists work because I was so used to how the ones from 5 did, how, the, how Beowulf from 5 works. They don't work the same way, I'll tell you that much. In the name of my father, the son, and the holy shit! Oh my god, here they come. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. I love it. I actually have to level 2 charge off and I killed him. They actually use a really nice water effect for this area. It reminds me of like when I was playing Bioshock or like every time I see footage of Bioshock because they always have like this really like smooth, clean looking water. I'm like, I really enjoy that a lot. I love it when games have really nice water. What's over here? I ne I I've never been on this side. Oh, we got a little meerkat buddy. Hello, buddy. Let's go to prison. Well, these guys sound like they're in an extreme amount of pain. I hope we can ease their suffering. There's a Hell Knight over there. I think there's another ice one too. Nope.
Is that it? Is that all of them? Nope. No, it can't be all of them. Damn it. Thanks to the round trip ability, you can just throw around all the time. It's like, this makes a... Like when you get Akia, or it's like Aquila, Akia, Akia, like whatever that is, it's really... Th that weapon like just changes the entire game for you. Because it's, it's so good. <laughs> Get lost. Clean water in caves, it does really look nice. And every time, like, uh, you have, um, you can never have something like that, just nice clean water in the game, it's always really, it's just really nice. I love, I just love water in general. It's very nice to look at in movies and games. Ah, great. Here's mummy. Uh-oh, he's a little mad. I do like how colorful this game is a lot. And the thing is, like, I remember when I was playing um, 5, I was asking myself, like, I wish they had more city levels in this game. And um, and I remember, like, oh, yeah, uh, the, the 2013 remake is all city levels, which is perfect. I, I love this. I wish Dante could scourge around the city more. Like, there you go. This is exactly what I was looking for. Instead of spending like 60% of the game in a dank, nasty tower, you go to like actually pretty varied levels, which is something I was very much enjoying when I played this the first time. Which why honestly this game is very refreshing. Bye bye. I love that too. You can actually get environmental kills in this game. I don't even know if you can do that in like in Devil May Cry 4 or 5. I'm really fucking that up. I really don't. I hated that because I was trying to do other things with that sort of thing with that uh, Getting all flustered and annoyed because I fucked up too hard Because I wanted to try doing something different, but I ended up falling back into the same patterns, which is very bad Because that's like the one thing I like about these games is that you can't be you can obviously stick to one strategy for most times but the most 
But for the most part, if you don't ever, if you don't ever change, you're just gonna get your shit kicked in, like I did right there. We gotta save this old man over there, but how can we how can he see those demons in purgatory? What's he got so special about him? Like the fact this game has environmental kills is like a really really cool aspect. I love it when you can be able to kick an enemy off a ledge and it instantly kills them. It's nice for crowd control. A harpy. Hello harpy. There you go. Punch that there? bitch in the face. I know you're there. I can feel you. Who is it? I cut your head off. Put your stick down. Oh my goodness! What's happened to your head, son? Does it give me reason to? Are you a prisoner of Mundus too? No. I'm from upstairs. And can you tell me how to get to that tower? Tower? Why? Because I want to kill the demon that runs this show. Will you help me? Yes, I can help if you help me first. It's here. <laughs> God, he is like he is such a negative Nancy right there. Not not a little fun line or anything like that. No, it's just like, all right, let's hear it. What do you got for me, bub? Those flying bastards stole my eye. They torment me incessantly. I can't leave here without it. I'm trapped for eternity. Get me back my eye, and I'll take you to the tower. All right, sounds simple enough. We got to get his eye. We go to the tower. Just where is it? Flying bastards, come! Yeah, this Dante is like, you know, it, you can be a serious man, that's fine. But it's like, this Dante is like, the, no fun allowed. Like, when we were having that moment in the car with Kat, and she's like, you know, telling us her life story, Dante is like, you know, obviously he's trying to get, he's trying to get with her. But um, that is not working out very well for him. Because he's as like he's as charismatic as a fucking dying animal. He's like seriously, man. Like, what are you? What are you doing? There you are. Whoa! That actually scared me. I I did not expect that. I did not expect to get smashed by a train like that. Fucking loud. I mean, that's the whole point of it, though, but it's not it. Oh, 
Got a little bit, a little bit of a spook there, didn't ya? you? Like. Oh my god. <laughs> that train loading in is like a massive hit to my frame rate. It's also it's also extremely loud. <laughs> Like, holy shit, they did not need to make that train s this loud. Jesus. I remember when I first did that level too, it was like when I whenever I would hear the um I would I ran directly into that train the first time and it scared the hell out of me. But then it would, when it would come down the hall it was just like it was so ungodly loud I had to like rip off my headphones. It's as loud as an actual train driving by. The nest. That's gotta be it. Yes, you can. You can actually do environment. I think I got a couple of environmental kills with the train itself. Yeah, yeah, here come all the harpies. They've come to see me. Nice. I love it. <laughs> that was a cracking good fight. Now how do I get back? Let's see, where's the way out that's platform two? There it is. That's a really fun area to fight in because you can just knock all the enemies down the uh, down into the pit for free instant kills. It hurts your stylish rank a lot, but it's really easy to do. And it's also like really fun because who doesn't love kicking enemies into pits?
Damn it, I keep fucking that up so much. Those uh, Ghost Wraith, or I think they're called... It's something like that. I don't remember what the name of those enemies are called, but they always end up beating the shit out of me because I forget. You can knock them out of their rage state with a charged punch. Because for most, like, in this difficulty, all you do is just face, like, these little dolls and easy regular enemies. But no, not here. Those little ghost wraith assholes are just, oh, they're so bad. Huh, I guess the actual level 2 charge doesn't take that long. How many levels does it go up to? Just two. My god, that level 2 charge is so good. Just knocks them right into the air and it's they're done. Who's there? It is I. The eye. The eye. You haven't? Have you? Thank you, my brother. I can see. I can see. I can see. Dante. You know me? No. I knew your father. Sparta. I can see him in you. Sparta was a demon, I'm nothing like him. No, of course. You are Nephilim. I can see that too. So who is this guy? How does he know our dad? Who are you? Phineas. Scholar. Inventor. Prophet. Demon. And until you arrived, political prisoner of Mundus. I am grateful. It wasn't a favor. You said you'd take me to that tower. Of course, my friend. Of course. This way. Phineas is so whimsical. He's just like, this way, please. I knew your father. I see him a lot. I see a lot of him in you. A book of the Beppo. Yeah, I met like the bare. I met the bare minimum for actually getting those. Uh, for getting that stuff. You were blinded and imprisoned here for how long? Hundreds of years. Are you sure you know your way around? Like the back of my hand. Whoa! Are you nuts? I forget. You and I see things differently. Seeing things differently can open new paths. What do you mean? You only see evil in me because I am a demon. Try opening your mind. It's all a matter of perspective. But, as I said, I see things differently. Want me to ahead? I have something to show you. That's actually really cool.
I, I, I like that, Phineas. That's really cool. Usually that would be like the indicator you would get like the Quicksilver power up just like in three. Which is like a slow down time control move that like, I think it takes DT gauge to use, but it's actually like a really strong and useful sort of tool. I don't think we get that in this game. I wish we did though. An ancient one. Nephilim, like you. I didn't know there were others. The Nephilim were the third race. Sadly, they were hunted down and slain. Why? They wielded the power of both angels and demons. But unlike them, the Nephilim could easily cross worlds. Yeah, this stage is very blue. It is, uh, it's Virgil coded. Like me. And like you. They held great potential. What a waste. You want to reach your full potential? Perhaps... Asiel holds the key. God, they, they need to know, they needed to learn how to, like, make the camera hold still for, like, at least, probably five seconds. Because a shot, a shot, reverse shot right there of Phineas and Dante talking would have been just fine. But no, the camera had to keep like spinning and swaying the entire way through. I'm like, Jesus. You didn't need to do that. We get to meet a brand new enemy, the witch. Nephilim are very weird. You actually don't see them talked about too much uh, in most lore stuff. I think actually like the Nephilims in general, the only one I can actually think of that's actually been used in like an actual, 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 right. in a real deal the key. mainstream setting, I think is actually like Iris from Hololive. That's a, that's a, that is, her design is a Nephilim. And it's a, I was actually very surprised when I learned that she is one. I thought she was some sort of fucking goblin or whatever, but no, she is a Nephilim, which is very cool. Very cool there, Hollow Live, that you actually made a character with a not used very much mythological thing. It's like the other races of vampires when you're talking God. about, uh, you know, just vampires in general. Obviously, we understand, you know, like the Count Dracula sort of thing, but, um,. That's fucking loud, dude. Shut the fuck up. I'll turn you down. I'm talking, Virgil. You don't get words. See what happens. Sadly, you can't use those spiders to get like health back or anything. They're just strictly for money. It took a second there, game. You had to load in your uh, bad textures to good ones. But there we go. We have unlocked the power of uh, Mundus. Dante, you are here because I wasn't able to protect you. For that, I am truly sorry. For that, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Your father fell in love with me. 
A love that transgressed rigid ancient boundaries. We chose our path in the face of certain annihilation. We never regretted our choices, but we never gave you yours, my dear son. Now, finally, you will have that choice. You will have a great power. A power that will allow you to forge your own path. That, my son, is freedom. Be brave, my son. I love you. Never thought I'd be saying this, my headphones kind of smell. I wonder why. Fighting 8 bit Asagis and Yukikazes and Taba. Kasotiko and Fuma are stuck in Clone Asagi's virtual mind. That actually sounds like a really fun event. Going into the computer world. Because, yeah, Tokiko has that, like, the. the her ninja art is like, let's just see into the computers and read their data. I have never heard of anybody washing their headphones ever, so it's like a mystery to me, like, why does it do that sort of thing? Bam. You know, you know, Master, that actually sounds like a pretty good idea to wipe them down with alcohol once a week. These are like the uh, faux rubber, well, like the faux leather pads, so they actually be pretty good to cool down, to not cool down, to wipe down. Because that, um, that would probably be very helpful for me. Because it's like, cause I took my headphones off and I thought like, oh, it's because I'm sweating, so it's because I'm sweating or something like that. It's like, no, it's like a weird smell. I'm like, okay. Maybe like the plastic's coming off or something. Combined with the fact that I'm sweating all the time when I wear these. Oh yeah, if you guys have like headphones over there in an internet cafe, I imagine like lice would be a thing, wouldn't it?
They get kind of itchy when they're not clean. I, I get it. They're itchy right now sometimes. Well, sometimes they're itchy on my end. Oh god, come on. I should probably use the remote detonator when I have to deal with those sort of monsters. Because the remote detonation gun is like really, really helpful. Alright, let's go inside. Who's gonna greet us? Oh, what's this? Survive until the timer expires. Okay. Come on, Dante. Oh my god, no wonder. Alright. I have not played Time and Collection on Steam. It just doesn't feel like a, a game I would enjoy. Obviously it's there to like, you know, look at the tab of cards, but it's like... I, are, I have the viewer. So it feels kind of, you know, like pointless for me. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, I, it, it doesn't feel like it would work out for me if I had that, because it doesn't, doesn't feel like I, I need to have anything like that. Do you play it there, Master? Do you play the, um, the Time and Ink Collection game on Steam? If so, how is it? Have they changed since the update, since the game started? Have they done anything you know, new or uh, outlandish. Because I don't keep up on too many things. I just uh, keep to my own for the most part.
I just want to kill the demon king named Mundus. And if you do kill Mundus, who would take his place? Wait, what? Oh, whoops. Devil inside, so that's a, a devil trigger. How far is that? Last dance, so that's a long way. Okay. Bad news. I am no longer suited to violence. I can now proceed. Thank you, Phineas. It wasn't quite a favor. I want to see Mundus destroyed. And I now believe you may stand a chance. Is that the first time Dante's ever thanked someone in this game? That's it. That's pretty insane, actually. You're not just like your father. I see your mother in you, too. You want to hit Mundus hard? This is how. Mundus has power almost beyond limit. His mistress, Lilith. His weakness is that he loves her. <laughs> Mundus? Love? No, my friend. Yet, she has recently become the most important thing in creation to him. This is what I have seen. Lilith, his mistress, carries his child. You want to hurt Mundus? Kill Lilith. Kill the child. Oh my god. Nothing will hurt him more. What? But be warned. The fury of Mundus is boundless. Many thousands could perish. Okay, thanks, Phineas. Thanks for uh, thanks for giving us the pro-choice sort of thing right there. Okay, that's pretty. That's a, this is gonna be gross. Because later on we do uh, we do take we do take uh, Lilith on, not for a while actually. We've got our things to do beforehand. I, I that's it. I do too. I thought he, I thought his name was Among Us first. I was like oh, Among Us reference. Oh my god. Yes. He's a sussy baka among us. Uh, let's see. But no, Masher, you can't read events in the Time and Viewer. It's just scenes. It's just like specific intimacy scenes and the um, CG. That's it. Whoa, oh Jesus. And here we are, the Mundus News Network. What's happening? Oh, that's right. I turned off the music. <laughs> but now we're in like the little uh, world when they have like the, the news come up. Now we're inside that. 
this this the rest of the um, now that we're going away from the city, we're going into like the technical world and like we're doing magic stuff. But uh, yes, but Raptor, mine's a Libra. I was born in October. I don't know much about zodiacs and stuff like that, so it's um. Your guess is as good as mine. I don't know what a Scorpio is. Yes, Raptor, it's your news network. This is Bob, Bob Barbus. Here we go. This is this is a fun fight. Hey Bob. Put a spin on this. <laughs> view on the terrorists is that they are disgusting, degrading, ghastly, sleazy, period, and generally nauseating. The worst of them is Dante. The whole world would benefit greatly by his non-existence. I'm taking you off the air. You think so? I wouldn't bet on it, you little shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love this fight so much. It's it's really really fun. I love this. Now you actually go into the news and you actually go, go fight in there. Shocking footage of the terrorist known as Dante at the Bellevue Pier recently. So what do we know about this Dante? Several people have now come forward and investigators have pieced together a shocking history of violence. At age eight, Fuck. he attacked and killed the head nurse at St. Lamia Orphanage. She was described as a sweet old lady who particularly enjoyed working with children. Between the ages of 11 and 15, he broke out of no less than eight youth detention facilities, often mounting brutal, humiliating attacks against the prison officers just doing their jobs. Between 16 and 17, he became involved in gangs, drug peddling and is believed to be responsible for over a dozen homicides. And worst of all, he was also a well-known cruiser in the seedier districts of the city, rapidly spreading sexual disease of the unholy kind. And ain't that the best kind, Bob? I love, I know, Masher, I love, I love this part so much. It's a really, really creative boss fight, and it's like super duper fun. Like, you know how he's attacking you? He's literally filling your head with information to do damage. That's how this guy works. It is, it is so cool. Yes, exactly, Master. Just like the Minority Report game. Exactly. Exactly. Fuck yeah, somebody actually else played Minority Report. <laughs> come to light that Dante is involved in the terrorist organization called The Order. I have a message for The Order. The whole world is looking for you. Every camera, on every street corner, every police force in the country and worldwide. 
Oh, we will find you. We will destroy you. It's only a matter of time. This is Bob Barbus of the Raptor News Network. Just doing God's work. Thankfully, this fight is actually kind of easy. So you can actually get a lot of points. The terrorist organization responsible for the recent attacks has been located and is being stormed by SWAT teams no. as I speak. Two of the terrorists identified in these images are known to be in the combat. Bastards. The third terrorist has been cornered in another part of the city in a separate police raid. Rest assured, those responsible will be brought to justice at any moment. Dead or alive. This is Bob Barbas of the Raptor News Network. Just doing God's work. <laughs> oh. You caught it. We got you. We'll crush you. And you know what? We'll do it live. <laughs> well, fuck it. We'll do it live. <laughs> Oh no, I messed it up. Fuck. You're not going anywhere. Uh-oh. He's hitting me with large piece of the pie deals from Domino's. Just shot a man on national TV. That's right, Master. All I need is your date of birth, those 12 wacky numbers on the front, and, the, and those crazy three security digits on the back. That way he can find out what your um, birth date is. What your, um, what is that thing called again? Sor uh, fucking Scorpio sign. No, it's like he can find out what your zodiac sign is. Wow. Nice. Perfect triple S. The order. Wow, Raptor, so that means you were actually born on the very edge of, um... That means my birthday is like... Yeah, my birthday is literally like just six days ahead of yours. And I'm a Libra. You're not in yet. But you're a Scorpio and that's like six days away. So that means like I'm on the very cusp of the edge. It's probably something like, oh, it's like a 1020 is like when it goes from Scorpio to Libra. Dante. Fuck that up. Who are you? Fuck not. <laughs> the butcher. A very, very dangerous enemy. <laughs>
Oops. Oh god. They're breaking it. God, Dante, you're, you're just so. You just. He does not want to be there. He's like. Oh, they're breaking it from Limbo, too. I can't believe it. Where are you guys? Dante just sounds like the littlest bit. The least bit concerned at all about the well being of his friends. He's like. I just, I just really wish I was here. I was really wish I was anywhere else right now. That sort of thing. The memes, Jack. Hey, over here, saw boy. Do the thing, do the thing. He's gonna do it. All right. Thank God I actually got that to hit. Gosh, he pops like a fucking balloon. Oh, Rune Drace, you're a little bit late for that one. Sora comes in with the character slot steal. It's like, oh, that is my prediction 100%. She's going to get the steal. And everybody's gonna be like, no! I wish it was Anne Rose! Anne Rose! My beloved Anne Rose! Is near. Cat, are you there? Stay out of sight, you hear? I gotta get to her first. Go again! That's right, Cat. You keep him out. She knows we're here. We need a demo squad here now! You can't save her!
<laughs> like yeah, you know, it that all that sort of stuff right there is just Mundus yelling at you to telling you like you're you're stupid and all that sort of thing. Now he's just like he's actually mad at you. He's like, Homer's gonna die. <laughs> you stand no chance, Dante. You're stupid. He's about to get a little bit crazy. Fuck off. God damn it, you activated that the moment I got in over there. Yay, I love it. <sighs> Cat, are you here? As much as I like this game, it's like not the best sort of streaming experience because I have to sit there and like concentrate on certain portions. Get out. The place is overrun. And sometimes I gotta, it makes the fight a lot more interesting. Bring out the story at the same time as her release. You hope the Halloween event will have Anne Rose too. So we'll probably get like a sort of, you know, what's her face? A story for um, Miss Sora herself. Damn it, way too early. I think it's actually the first time I've ever killed a butcher, like with your bare hands. Because I'm that never happens. Holy shit! What was that? What are you smiling at? Ring gets announced as the poll winner, and they become the next playable character. And Anne Rose gets announced as the poll winner, and Sora takes her slot. But the results of the poll, and then uh, Rain coming out as a character, there was like four characters in between that sort of thing happening. There was a lot of time in between there. So I don't really see how that makes a lot of sense.
If they surprised us with another waifu war, I would wholeheartedly accept that. I love a good little competitive event to see, like, you know, get people hyped for in general about the game. It's like, oh, man. Pick a side, baby. I really hope they don't pit... I, I hope they pit, like, characters... Two characters people actually like. Make it a closer race. Like, have a... Ina versus, um, oh, someone else. Don't make it like Anne Rose versus, don't make it something like Anne Rose versus Ina because that's just not fair. That, that won't work. You need like two honestly kind of meh characters, but who are legacy, who are two meh legacy characters for people to fight over. That's what I want to see. Whip it. Whip it good. You okay? Yeah. Come on. Break your mama's back. Whip it. Whip it good. Do 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 do. Let's go. Step it on a crack. Break your mama's back. Whip it. Whip it good. You know, the last time someone said they knew the place like the back of their hand, they damn near killed us. Yeah, Sora's a main story character, so it's expected. And that logic, Ann Rose and stole Nagi and Saki's spot. And yeah, I, I get it there, right there. It's a new character, new character. This is it. Whoever gets in first or last, I don't mind. My girl is a Sagi. Everything else is a bonus. I mean, Anne Rose is probably going to be a sword character. It feels like we're talking about Smash or something like that. Because every time it's like, oh man, another sword character. It's like, it's like we're getting like, in Smash, it's like, oh man, another Fire Emblem character. Sakura, I know you love Fire Emblem. It's a fun series. But it's like, another one? My god, man. But man, if there wasn't anything that helped um, Fire Emblem get traction in the U.S., it's the fucking Smash series. Awakening helped too. Boy, when they said everyone is here, that exactly they were in Jason. And when they said everyone is here, everyone showed up. They also gave that. They also needed to have the fucking roster for. Um, What's it for Smash? They need to have it take a gas X because that shit is so bloated. Get out of sight. He's running. Get no. Quick. Get in that room and hide. I told you not to run. Every Fire Emblem character Damn. ever made is here. In. Dante, you sound so enthused and empathetic to her situation. He's like, we'll, we'll save them. We'll find Virgil. We'll get the help we need. 
You ordering a pizza there, Dante? Because you sure sound like enthused about the whole fact about this is going on. This is a very scary situation because their base is being killed and all our friends are dying. You know, it's it'd be a little bit, a little bit, a little bit more empathetic. But anyways, yes, action time and then eventually will turn into into Smash for sure. Like we already have twenty characters. It's going to be twenty one soon, and the game is just almost uh, two years old. We have a, there are a lot of characters in this game. Awesome. Nice. Thank you, Dante. Cat, you're still alive. Is there a way out of here? Yes, there's an emergency gate. I'll take you there. Let's go. No, not yet. What? There are terabytes of sensitive data here. We cannot let them get their hands on it. What does it matter? They'll know everything about our plans. If they get their hands on that data, everything that I've worked for will be for nothing. Cat, arm self-destruct. I can't do it from limbo. The demons are breaking in. We don't have time for this. Take time, Dante. Shit, for Cat, do it now. This won't take long, Cat. I'll help you. Then make time, Dante. Oh, I love it. Not long. A couple of minutes. Then make time, Dante. I hope the devs are prioritizing characters with different weapons and gameplay. Because it's like, that's... Because we don't have enough care. We need we need just more characters in general. Well, not so much more. We need more um, substantial, you know? My nose itches. Uh, I got a nose hair that's like been poking out at me. I need to, get, I need to cut that off later. We're not at that. We're not at that part yet, Soup. We're not at that part where he says that. I've, I've been waiting for that like the whole time. Oh, fucking butcher! The butcher. <laughs> Damn, he got me on that one. Yes, Soup, this game is, uh, the memes are what made this game and made it famous. Because the gameplay in this actually is really tight and solid. It's like, I have no problem with the gameplay itself. It's just fine. We need more machines. We need a third machine, goddammit. Hey, Dante! The 
might help. Great. I already have the shotgun. It's my favorite weapon. The Seal Clubber Express. How are you guys doing? Two more minutes, Dante. Virgil, I can keep the demons off your back for as long as you need, but I can't protect Cat from the feds. Step on it. Understood. Two minutes. Two minutes. You wish the AT sticks to the global task force concepts. Other characters from other countries would be nice, and the European European Union. I would like that for sure. I should have bought a gun. I should have bought fireworks. Perfect parry right there. Excellent. You fucking piece of shit. I hate you so much. I'm gonna... Getting ready to... I almost said it. I was almost about to say the gamer word right there. I could feel the rage building inside of my body that much. Sorry guys, I have to really concentrate for this part because it's a, there's a lot of enemies in this. Those stupid ass little things. I hate them. All right. Where are you, Revenant? Fireworks. Cool. Let me the Euro Two minutes? The it's European de I just need a minute longer to grab what I can from the servers. The European You're Union calls their demon slayers exorcists. Okay, that would look pretty it's cool. So and we have a, more characters in nun outfits. We'd have a whole convent of demon slayers. The gun nuns. I'll be having none of that for sure. That's actually uh, something very enjoyable. Right to the face, fantastic. You got girls dressed like Spanish Inquisitors. I don't, I don't think the Spanish Inquisitor style would look very good in that, in that sort of time and an aspect. Obviously, they would translate it into something, you know, skin tight. That is not looking very good. Do not fight back. I'm scared. What will they do to me? Only 
to do is hold on for as long as you can, and we'll come back for you. Um, oh my god! <laughs> wow. There we go, another classic case of police brutality. Fucking... Not only did they shoot her in the shoulder, break her arm, <laughs> they, they just sit there and kick her for like five minutes. Like, Jesus. These guys are brutal. Wait a minute, if it took that little amount of time to actually go through the portal, why couldn't they just gone through the portal in the first place and saved her? It looked like they actually had plenty of time. Boy, this this mission. This mission, I tell you. Say the name. Spanish inspired characters might be a good tribute to the uh, Latin America fans. You know, I would honestly think they would probably go for more along the lines of like the Mayans and the Aztec sort of style before they'd go for something like a Spanish Inquisition sort of thing. Bert. I don't know who you are or why you have been stupid enough to attack me. But I know you mean something to this girl. So I suspect this girl means something to you. I also know You are collaborating with the Nephilim. I want the Nephilim. You want the girl. We trade their lives. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> I just know it's less than I thought. He knows my name, but that's it. Not that I'm your brother, nor that I'm Nephilim. But we can't save her. What do you mean? You can't seriously think that I would trade your life for hers. No, I'm not saying. Apart from the fact that you're my brother, you're the key no, to this. I'm not life. saying we trade me for her. I'm saying we offer another trade. Captain Mundus' mistress, Lilith. Would Mundus care about one of his whores because she carries his child? <laughs> How can you know this? When I was at the tower, I met a demon named Phineas. He told me. Yes, I have heard that name. This is amazing. We have access to Mundus's unborn child? This is exactly what we need to get him out of his lair. No, we use this to save Cat! Dante, that's madness. You would risk the future of mankind for a girl. Cat put herself through hell to protect us. We'll find another way to get Mundus. Sante. I'm not abandoning her. I can see that. Okay. We'll do what you want. Mrs. Mistress Lilith runs an exclusive club downtown for high society. Sports personalities, rich kids, bankers, that kind of thing. Demonic substances flow freely. She hooks the pathetic weasels on the stuff, turning them into soulless demon collaborators. Whoa. She'll be there tonight. You're not coming in. You're not on the list. You're not on the list.
am now. There you go. <laughs> Oh, that is fantastic. You're just like, I am now. Just fuck you. Well, yeah, it doesn't look it doesn't look uh, cool at all. It was, just, it was just so funny. That's like that's something like you know you would see in something like Austin Powers. I absolutely hate the, this level and the next one that comes after it because the lights and the, they use like the worst color of orange possible. I can't see a goddamn thing at all. Yeah, you're on the balcony and uh, I'm below you. That's pretty simple stuff. I'm glad she has really elementary pa pattern recognition. Shut the fuck up, Lilith. Fucking damn it. Yeah, 
the, they have so many particle effects in this room and all like the lights are like an absolute murder on my FPS. It's also really hard to see. There we go. Now they got like the Like those pulsating things in the background, like the visualizer for like Windows Movie, Windows Media Player or something. They're so bright and they're so orange. It is so, it is blinding the fucking hell out of me. I thought he I thought he wasn't alive. I thought he died. Congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming Limbo's top fucking idiot. Now you can come to the closer. Like I don't know why they went so hard on these like visual effects. This is really, really bad <laughs> Round two. How quick are you? You have 30 seconds to put an end to my miserable minions. Lovely. Off we go. Round two. Fight. Is there a way to turn down the brightness? Actually, I'll put on subtitles. I'm trying not to imagine if this stage is multicolored because this is so... This is, this is so bad. Because like, the first time I did this level, I, uh, was, do I, did I was doing it and I was uh, up off my ass on painkillers so I could actually eat that day. And then, like, whenever I came to the level, this level, and then the boss afterwards, like, oh my god, I was damn near ready to fucking vomit. I hate this so much. Even sober, this is, like, so incredibly disgusting to look at. Because, like, they have some gross monsters in this game, but it's like, this is, like, the worst of them all. Home run, baby. You're done for. Yeah. 
few contestants get this far. Congratulations! It seems the devil has talent after all. Wow, what a timely reference there, Lilith. Very good stuff. This is where it gets interesting. Do you like it with the lights off? Yes, I do like it with the lights off because the because the lights on are burning in my fucking skull. Like being in an actual nightclub is not this like visually horrible. Like this, it's not as much of a fucking nightmare. Mundus has been looking for you ever since he first laid eyes on you. I need to. Can I can I turn down the gamma even more? Mouse sensitivity. Um, well, I don't need tutorials anymore. Remember that night, Dante? I can't wait to see his face when I show up with your scrawny corpse. There we go. I turned the gamma down all the way and it's actually tolerable on my end. I don't know how much it looks like on yours, but it's uh this is it is a uh, much 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 better for me. It's just this one level too. Everything else looks like really nice and fits to the setting, but no, they have everything be electric green and like orange. Okay, okay, Lila, thank you. You're you're a gross woman. You know, Dante. I think if I actually don't kill him, I think I can actually kill that enemy, but I would did it too slowly, so it's um, I don't get the bonus out of it. You know, these spiders glow green, and you know, you think like the health orbs in this game are green. You think those spiders would give you health. No, they don't. God, this is going to be so gross. Right 
Ghost Rage. Oh, oh God. The camera keeps switching all over the place. Oh my God, it scared me. Talk about the magnetism. Looks like you're a bitch magnet, Dante. Wow, that thing actually died back there. I'm impressed. Your turn, Barbie. Not bad. I took way too much damage on that part, at least. Alright, let's go to the bathroom. There's a mobile game called Dislight. Sounds Korean. It's like fake go mythology figures in a Pixar art style, but it's in a rave party aesthetic, so it's that level of it the entire game. Yeah, I don't, I don't want any more uh, rave content that's really, really hard and painful on my eyes. Whether it's in it's real life or um, anything like that, it's like no. Oh god, it's so rough. No. I don't want that. No, blast it. Perfect. Take a break for a second. Open this up. It's a real bitch magnet. Let's see. How many levels are left there, Raptor? I gotta... Uh, we're on what? Mission 14? Okay. Mission 14 is a boss. And I think there's... Well, there's six levels left. So... There's like... Five... I think there's actually like four... To four actual levels left and then three... Uh, and and uh, two are just bosses. We're almost there, guys. How you doing, Mach 1? Welcome to the stream. We're playing some Devil May Cry today. We're about to have a really fun boss fight that's not going to totally burn out my eyes. 
while I fight to stay awake from these uh, painkillers that put me to sleep. <sighs> Why does Action Time and not have any sort of uh, triple S ranking? It is much cooler than having just showing off the number of combos and time taken. It really is. I would much rather than have that sort of thing in the game rather than any sort of like, you know, oh, I, obviously I'm doing all the, these combos and stuff like that. Your turn, Barbie. I want a style meter. This is exactly the opportunity I've been waiting for. Come on, baby. Let's make daddy proud. Oh. That's right, little one. It is playtime. Well, this, this game, Mach 1, is the uh, real black sheep of the family. For many reasons, and we're about to see why it's a uh, black sheep of the family right now. I've been looking for a chance to unwind. Telling me, Dante. Well, it, this uh, this game is specifically a remake because uh, Devil May Cry 4 did I don't think did too well, so they're um, you know taking a different approach. Oh fuck! This fight absolutely sucks. There is like nothing I can think good to say about it. Like, oh god, it is... That, 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 those spikes... Like, those spikes in the background are, like, absolutely murder on my eyes. Ugh. There you go, Dante. Give her a good kick. Kick to the placenta. Let me in! Pull me back in! Yeah, the, the, the baby just gets born and we're going to put him right back inside. Turn, it, turn him into hot dogs. Like, this is absolutely nasty. Damn it. Ugh, so much flashing lights and everywhere. Get away from my son. God, if there's ever a time I would say seizure warning, it's this. This is like... This is it. This is like the worst place to have a boss ever. Oh my god. Damn it, I should I should have used my devil trigger right there. That would have finished the fight. Because I totally forgot about it. Because I I never I never use this devil trigger at all. It, there's just no need for it on normal. Mommy 
Wow, I, I just should, I should have done that from the from the get go. Just use um, rebellion. Uh, I hate that fight so much. Like this game's visuals are all over the place. Some are really good and like really nice looking. And then some of the, sometimes like this, they're really, really bad. I wish AT could do proper aerial combat. That would like really give a lot more depth into the game. Like the air combos that we do have in the game right now are just like, they're so bad. <laughs> yeah, Mach 1, this is like, it is just so trippy all the time. I had to turn down the gamma in the last level so I could actually go through it without getting a fucking headache. But now we're at the trade. We have uh, five levels left. And yes, Ventus, I am using the classic Dante skin because it's a better look for Dante than this than his black hair. You got that one there, Wrinkles? Oh, that's right. They, they shot her in the shoulder. <laughs> Surprised she's not, like, bled out and dead yet. Why are they cutting? Imagine if we could have um, enemy step in um, in action timing in. That would be absolutely insane. That would actually make the game like really really fun. We actually we have full on air combos, canceling, long stuff. It's like it's great. Oh my God, Virgil, no. <laughs> What the fuck, Virgil? Why? What 
Why did you do that? Dude, you're fucking stupid. <laughs> Why did you have to do that? With a god. Get her out of here. Go. Everybody get in the Virgil Mobile. There he goes. It's Batman. <laughs> Are we the bad guys? <laughs> He's got a little V over there on the console. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, I hope this works. That took me five times in practice to actually get through it. Because getting the third uh, whip shot over there on that second set of uh, first set of containers, that did not fucking work out the first time. I mean, Virgil's always been a real single-minded idiot from, like, in every single one of these games. But uh, this really takes the cake right here. Yes, Virgil uh, Virgil did that 100% on purpose. To shoot the ba to kill the baby and then shoot her in the head. Because if he shot her in the head first, he could, um... The baby can be saved. But if he shot the baby... If he shot the baby first... I can't believe I'm fucking saying this. If he shot the baby first... It wouldn't be as... Um, if he shot her in the head first, it wouldn't be as impactful. Virgil is like an absolute asshole in this game. He's an asshole in every game, but this one is like... In <laughs> Fuck you, Virgil. You are a horrible. You are a horrible person. Okay, fell off. There we go. Oh, okay. I love how they're just like, flo floating peacefully through the air. It's like here we go. I don't know if there's a V on the hood, actually. Oh yeah, guess what? That was the entire level. That's it. That's all we had to do. Just get from point A to point B. That was not a level. Like, there's two keys in this mission that you have to get somewhere. I don't know where they're at, and I... It's like, that, that was not a mission. Like... When I said there was like 
four missions left in the game. Not four missions, but there are six missions left. Two of those missions are not even real missions. God damn, man, you really are full of shit then. Well, like every Devil May Cry game, we've got to climb some sort of tower at some point. Yeah, that was earlier in the stream there, Ventus. Uh, he, he's where he wore his fedora and I, I pointed that out. I'm like, are you serious there Virgil? Like Virgil already has the Yamato. He already looks like a massive weeb already and then he's like super edgy like Mr. Woke bullshit guy Like he, he fits like all the worst stereotypes possible How did Tanim? think that this character was going to be good. Surrender. The gates will seal. Dante, you need to keep them busy while Virgil makes his way into the tower. Elite Stygians, they just have more health. Fucking corpse pile over here. God damn, Bonte. Does he actually say Milady? I think I actually missed that. God, they do that shit on purpose. They have to have one hundred percent made it Virgil a fedora tipping asshole. Oh, he won't see where I am. That's good. I don't need him to know where I am. I don't need him to see send me another five goddamn dream runners to kick my ass. 
What an insanely weird name for an enemy, Dream Runner. I don't understand why they call him that either. Come to me, Dante. If you can. I'll be waiting for you. I mean, I just unlocked concept art for like the Dream Runner or something like that. So maybe if I look at the concept art, I'll be able to tell uh, what they were trying to accomplish with it. The one thing I do like about this game a lot is how the shotgun is not like a total piece of crap. Because like in every Devil May Cry game, it's always like the second weapon you get, but it's also not like it's outclassed by Ebony and Ivory so much. Like the shotgun here, you can fire the fucking shit out of that thing. I love it so much. And the shotgun's really good too. Oh, it's the elevators over here. That's what I was thinking of. Dream Runners sound like the name of a nobody from Kingdom Hearts like 2 or 3. Like, they really do. It's like... They sound like a name ripped straight out from Kingdom Hearts. Like, you got that exactly right there, Ventus. Like, I don't, I don't think... Uh, that is just so perfect. Dream Runners. Why... Why Dream Runners? That's probably like a lore thing. Good, brother? Yeah, good. Here you'll split. Dante, make your way to the east wing. Virgil, you'll make your way to the west wing, or you'll find the main server room. Good luck. Me too. Dante, you will have to, have to cross the sky bridge to the east wing. wing. You will find the sky bridge along this path. Virgil will take over the servers in the west wing. He'll clear the way for you. I, lo I just loved using the shotgun so much. It fires so quickly. It has such good coverage. I wish this shotgun was in every Devil May Cry game. It's so good. The east wing is tight. You'll find yourself blocked. So don't try to cross it just yet. All right. All right, Virgil, work your magic. Show us how Windows XP works. What a surprise. Day, Look, there's another Dream Runner. So this is corporate hell. Oh yeah, that's the thing about these enemies. They're actually proactive. They actually, if you get in the air, they're gonna just gonna fuck your ass up. As you can see, I have yet to have mastered the perfect dodges yet. So I get stuck with uh, base level damage.
No. It's like it is extremely it's I don't know how obvious it is that I don't understand how to fight these enemies very well. Because you should be able to easily kill enemies in about 30 seconds or less. And uh, I'm getting, it took me like two minutes. It took me two minutes to do that. There is a must style mod for Devil May Cry 5, but the fact that you have to get a mod in the first place to put something like that in there is not very good, because must style mode is a, is a really good addition. Because the, the definitive edition of this game is actually, like, a really good version. Like, this is actually, like... Because quite honestly, like the game, this game normally is um, quite good. Like this is a really solid game. I've said it once, and I will always say it again. This game, if it was not called Devil May Cry and it was under another franchise, this would have lived a different life and would have been very successful. Obviously, it needed a little tune-up in the writing department, but um, I think that could be done. Oh god. Shut up. Shut up. I don't need you. I'm so tired of your screaming and you give shields to enemies. I can't use round trip at all because I have to sacrifice it exclusively to you. Chop, chop, chop! Oh, that's good stuff. To Punish poverty. Oh, wow. How topical. Well, Masher, would you ever believe that um, I be I'm working on something like that right now? Because I like this game. I like it a lot, actually. I don't like the Dante and the Virgil in this because they are um, caricatures of already not very good characters. So it's... Uh, <laughs> It's interesting enough to say the least. I, I am working on something for this game for sure on my own time. I actually started writing a good portion of it today because I love this game mechanically. This is a lot of fun. Like if they actually got someone like you know Suda51 to write this game, it would be a fantastic experience. I wish this game was Killer is Dead. If this had the plot for Killer is Dead, and was uh, had the gameplay of this. This would've been great. Fantastic game. Time to move out. Come on, Virgil. 
Virgil. Hang on, Dante. Virgil, just be careful you don't trigger the tempering mechanism. Bingo. Bingo. Yeah, Ventus, if this was like shown as supposed to be like Nero's game, because the Dante in this game looks like, um, uh, ugh. The Dante in this game looks a lot like Nero. So I thought, you know, if this was just Nero's game, like, I'll be fine with that. Because Nero's like an edgy little prick mo for most of the four. So it's like, great. I like it. I would love to see Nero's adventures in a game like this. I don't know if there is or- oh fuck, I don't know if there is or not masher, I have to find that out though. Can I make it? Nope. Oh, oh. There goes my chance of getting the achievement. I, I got it the first time, but oh, that's not now. Uh, this side first, because I think there's a health recovery. No. Looks like I'll have to use my devil trigger for that then. New characters in a location but still taking place in the DMC universe. I would rather them not have the DMC universe at all in this because when you hold, when you make it a DMC game, it gets held up to the standard of other the, of those other games. This one did not meet it the very first time around and it got ripped to shreds by fans and also by a lot of people who didn't play this game. care about her about all of this you once said you didn't give a shit that's why i would have liked this to have been like another yeah. franchise completely here dante take this i took it off a security guard it might look like a taser in the real world but it's a powerful demon weapon in limbo thanks Virgil, you'll make your way towards Mundus's chamber in the real world. Dante, there's no way through for Mundo, so you will have to go via the West Wing. Find the West Wing Sky Bridge. I mean, this is also a Capcom game as well, so they had, you know, like, the people who made the other previous Devil May Cry games, they had them work on this, too. Like, this isn't, this game is not a piece of shit, like, totally. It's pretty solid. I have no idea where people keep bringing up the idea of, like, um, this game is, a, like, a hot piece of diarrhea. Because the PC version of this game is like the base game. Like this is not the definitive edition. You can mod it into the definitive edition. It does that. But the thing is, it's like, you know, I played the base game and like this, this is fine. The story sucks. It's 100% terrible. Much like any Devil May Cry story, they're all fucking bad. But it's like this, this really takes the cake. This is like absolute, this is absolute gutter trash. Oh, fuck. Things will be pretty crazy here. You'll have to go up five stories of hell. I hope you make it. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. Going up. But yes, it is. Uh, well, I'm trying to get as done as I can. 
Because when I was working on that sort of stuff for the the video this morning, fucking mouth pain city over here. I take a painkiller so I can actually no. I was reading um, the, the latest chapters of One Piece, doing that stuff. Then after that, I was going to read about um, more about this game. And I did that. Oh, shit. You absolute harpy, you stabbed me in the back. Holy shit. There you go, there's the blood version of this. It's the, well, uh, the Dream Runner's blue, and this one's uh, for red, red enemies. I mean, he's got some arms on him. Oh, that's right. Whoa. Oh, okay. My game got froze up there for a second. Uh oh, that's right. Oh, shit. This part of the game, you actually have to run. It got me scared for a second. I thought, uh oh, oh god, the game froze. DMC4 came out in I think 2008 or 2009. So that, and this, um, the remake, I don't remember how much the 4 sold or, and obviously the reception was not too hot, but um, 4 didn't sell that, 4, did, 4 didn't do well enough to what they thought. So, you know, they, they were thinking, let's, re, let's reroot the whole franchise. Honestly, it, it was, I wish, I wish they made a better attempt. I wish this was not a Devil May Cry game and it was a, um, like, something else. This mission sucks. Yeah. Uncle Roger Gaming. <laughs> I think they're called Blood Runners or something like that. I don't know. I have, I'd have to look at like what the enemy list is. If it did, if earlier, if it didn't have the uh, little thing over there. Um. When it said the elite Stygians over there at the front door, I didn't actually know they were called Stygians until that point. I just called them little doll guys.
did I do that? <laughs> I didn't need to do that. <laughs> I do not like the lack of lock-on in this game because it makes, um, when the camera switches around a little bit, it gets kind of iffy. You know, I just also forget how strong, um, the four-hit combo is for Dante. Uh, this game, uh, the remake of this, does the remake right here, this does not have lock-on. I have never locked on to a single enemy in the game. But however, there is an actual lock-on ability in like, you know, in the definitive edition of this game, like, there is a lock-on feature. They added that in. However, on the base game version, like the one that came out in 2013 and on PC, there is uh, no lock-on version. He didn't buy a DMC4 on launch, but the biggest complaint was how there's uh, four environments. Yeah, that's true. Front to back. There's 20 levels in that game, and you literally go... Mission 10 is making the entire trip all the way back to the first room. That's it. Well, it's like mission 10 to mission, like... Mission 16, and then it's making your the return trip. You literally fight the same two bosses like twice. Bye-bye. Splat. Yeah, man, like the base game for this is like sus as fuck. The, uh, the definitive edition though is absolutely where it's at. I, that is a wonderful game. I had that on like, um, I think I had that on my PS4 on the hard drive. That's, but that's really, really good. That is like, I would wholeheartedly call that a DMC game for the level of addition it has. It's also just generally very good. The fact you have to use on the PC version, you have to mod in the lock-on, it says a lot, says like everything about it. Why the hell would you ever need to mod in the, the, fat, the, act, the ability to lock-on? Uh-oh. I'm forgetting where I need to go. That's right. Alright, I'm gonna wait before that happens. Oh, thank God. That part sucks. Woo, scary. So it was four bosses three times each. That was like burial, echidna, and like something else. Burial, Echidna, the Frog, and, um, yeah, Burial and Echidna and the Frog, I know you had to fight a couple of times. 
And then you had the boss refights that came later. So uh, that game was uh, very, very unfinished for sure. Get on up there, Dante. And the thing is, you you got to play as a uh, what? It was ten levels of Nero and then ten levels of Dante. The reason there's another thing that honestly, like, I really don't like about base game of uh, Devil May Cry, is that you have to play as two characters. And it's like, I don't want to play as two characters. I want to play as Dante because he has the best gameplay in the fucking whole thing. That's cool, Master. You gotta do what you gotta do. Good, now you're done. Ah. Oh. Uh oh, Dream Runner. Where did he go? Oh. I was asking for that one. Okay, got it. Woo! Yes, that does show in the uh, 4 and 5 definite edition. The base game is absolutely atrocious because I hate playing as V. I hate playing as Nero. I really just wanted to keep playing as Dante because he has the fucking style switcher. He feels good to play. You can do everything with him. You gotta go through those shitty V levels. You gotta go through the boring D Nero levels. And like, then... Then when you go play special edition of DMC 4 or 5, then you get Virgil. Virgil, you get to play all 20 stages as him. He can do everything. He doesn't have these kind of fucking problems. Virgil is like probably my favorite character because, because you can play all 20 stages as him. 
The fact that people have to mod in the ability to play as the other stages as other characters is, says a lot about the where the game was going. I, I hate that shit so much. Like, I literally got, I bought um, Devil May Cry 5 on release, played it, made one playthrough, and never touched it again for almost two years until Virgil released. And then I played the game, and I have played it more times as Virgil than as Dante or the rest of the gang. There's no, you are never going to get me to touch this stupid ass base campaign again. Because Virgil is like so much better. Because you can play every level as him. Oh yeah, this level. This is the only level where they actually have like a DMC puzzle. You made it. Second to last, third last stage of the game. I'm stronger. I'm smarter. I'm better looking. Oh, this is behind the vault door. Let's not keep him waiting. Say it. And I got a bigger dick. Oh my god, there it is. Fucking terrible, terrible fucking line. What's happening? You must know we're coming. Just as Cap predicted. So, so what, what do we what have, have to do, do here again? Kickstart the backup generators in Limbo to overload the system so I can hijack the quantum encryption algorithms. Oh, quantum encryption. That's it. Could you say that first bit again? So, you have to get started the generators. Four of them, right? Yeah, that's right. One in each tunnel. The dialogue is so fucking bad in this game. Like, Jesus. They, they reiterate so much stuff, too. Like, why? Ah. Stop. Where is the shooter thing? Damn it. Did he fall off? Oh my god, he fell off! Oh damn it, I thought he did. Oh, no way. Too early, way too early. So you can get the parry off on him. Because the parry is always the safest way I've found to take them out. They actually have another attack where they have, um, I can, it's parryable. But uh, I have not learned the timing for that. However, with the uh, teleport one, yeah, I can do that. I can handle that. Both the both versions of Dream Renders have that. Yes, Darth Neo, we're playing DMC. This game is very good. This is a very fun game. The story is uh, total crap. You gotta turn them all on first, Virgil. Oh, 
It took you almost 10 tries to get the S rank for V's first mission on normal. Well, that was bad. I, I, I could have gotten a nice uh, combo off on those guys. Yeah, this game is, this game is like mechanically really, really fun. I'm, I'm glad they actually know like the Ninja Theory people actually got the people who worked on Devil May Cry, like the other games, to work on this. This game rocks. Oh, that's right. You can solve the puzzle and then do that, but, um... I wasn't listening to their dialogue when I first played this, like, when I did this mission the first time. So I was, uh, very confused for the most part on how this was supposed to work. I just kept activating the generators. I wouldn't say the puzzle was so much confusing on the first time, it was just that um, I didn't realize that you could just solve the puzzle immediately, like when you first uh, see it, and it would end the mission. Another in the bag. Any problems? No. Like if I, um, like I could just start, I could just do all those right here and it would be okay. I think you essentially activate the generators so you can um, know which spots the uh, symbols are supposed to go to. Kablooey! There you go, buddy. See you later, motherfucker. Oh, God. It's these things. I don't actually remember what those things are called. I just know that they hurt a lot if I mess up. You see, if I get hit by one right there, it doesn't matter. They just fly straight through me. Ah! All right. All done. Great. Here we go. Okay, listen up. To pop this beast open, we will need to line up four conduits with their corresponding servers. Did you get that? Line up all four. Got it. 
All right, this is a uh, little good old fashioned um, circular puzzles. Where they intersect, it means you can move the item around. I guess it gave me a sense of control. Control? You never had that, did we? No. Always thought that something was a mess. Hidden from me. What was that? It's like a burning feeling inside. Exactly. But I knew that if you peel back the layers of bullshit, the truth would eventually out. I guess I channeled that energy to hack. Killing demons and getting laid. With the computer stuff, it sounds good too. Computer stuff sounds good too. Uh, let's see, that is sun and uh, water. That is a star. I need to get the. Um, there's no way to actually reset this, so I don't. If something messes up, I have to find a way to get it back over there. Oops. Well, here we go. Problem solving with Mr. Hardcorn. Okay. Water, star. Star is over there, and the sun is over there. So I need to get you over to here. How does this turn out? That's aligned in there. The moon is on that one, so I need to move this one over a little. I can advance that over there. Where is the uh, waves version? That is in the corner over here. So that means I need to take that over onto that dial. Oops. Got those. Nope, I don't want to hit that yet. Okay. Oh, I do not want to hit that yet because that's going to knock it off of this one. Does that work? Oh, Dante, you and your... Uh, ah. Boy, they really, they gave him the best voice direction, didn't they? Only the best for you to name. That's right. They're on the opposite ends of each other. Got it. We're in business. There we go. I figured it out. I'm so smart. <laughs> I solved a very simple puzzle. <laughs> you know what you have to do. You lure him out. 
I close, I close the, the hell gate with the Yamato. Then we go for the kill. Any ideas how I draw him out? We killed his unborn child. Get him rabbit. Got it. But do not try and kill him. He's immortal until I shut down the Hellgate. Right. Bro, Hellgate London? Oh my god. We have to put our lives into Fucking each other's epic hands reference. completely, without hesitation. We are brothers, after all. What, oh yeah, what is today's secret mission again? It's like the Bone King or something like that. Is it, is it Bone Daddy or um, Ingrid again? Mission 19, we're almost there. This is a uh, face of the demon. Great stuff. You know, I thought this was going to take like six hours today, but it's, it's not actually. <laughs> we're at uh, almost five hours, so it's not bad. It's keeping me awake, which is very important. Why did you kill my child? I will ask you again. Why did you kill my child? Because you killed my mother. So it was revenge. Oh, for freedom. for freedom, huh? Freedom. You seem to have all the freedom you need. The freedom to murder my heir. I'm not talking about my freedom. I'm talking about mankind's. Mankind. And what would mankind do with freedom, do you suppose? Because when I arrived, they had it. Think they did with it. They fought. They killed. They stopped. Hold on. There we go. I brought prosperity. I brought structure. And what have you brought? Besides violence. War, death. Come on, Dante. Get him pissed. You know, Among Us. You're the, right. That sounded like Among Us. <laughs> it wasn't for mankind. It was. It was for revenge. I gotta tell you, killing your child like that? Oh my god. Watching it explode into little wet chunks? Hearing you scream like one of your little demon bitches? Priceless. God, that is so, that is terrible. God, the fact that they make like murdering an unborn child a plot point really shows like the headspace they were in for making this game. That is so that is so awful. good time there Dante really treats you like a piece of meat Oh my god, scary! Oh no, they're gonna kill everybody! 
What have you done? <laughs> my brother alone. Just stabbed him right in the ass. You okay, Dante? You took your time. You're welcome. He's sucking them all in. Look at him. There he goes. He's morbin out, everybody. The Savior is coming. Sword flying at his eye at like four miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, that, that really got him. Oh my god, this is a fucking ride. Sora is a good girl. She deserves better, but it's like, you know, until I see how Sora is going to react mechanically, um, she's looking like, she's looking kind of like a skip. Good save. Look, he's showing crack. Dante. He's, he's showing his crack. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> Still in there. We need to get in there and kill him. Come on. Let's go. Sora shouldn't be playable yet because of the poll. No, Sora should be playable in general. It's like, why was his body in there? Mundus is merged with his physical body. That's why he's protecting. Him. It's like so Sora. Sora should be playable. That makes sense. That works. I have no idea why people are saying no. Don't do that. It's like. Bro, they, they let, give him some time to actually make Anrose. Like, calm down. Virgil is very lame in this game, Ventus. He's he's such like a he's so fucking stupid. He's, ter he's a terrible, terrible character. <laughs> God, Dante. What have you done to him? God, 
God, Dante just sounds like he's waiting for the fucking bus or something. Oops, I, I'm way too late on that. And Rosarific. Oh, fuck. Wow. Give you something to look at there, Mundus. Oh, God. fucking up left and right today. Out here just vibing with Micah and Asagi. That's how you die. That's how it goes. Oh. No fucking shit. God damn it. Oh, he died. I cannot believe it just happened. Oh no. Whatever. They really want you to do the dodge, don't they? Fantastic. I went and died. Oh well. Oh god. The hell was that? Frame rate right fell to the floor. Because I, I thought like, okay, I'm gonna heal right there. It's like, I, I paused the moment that happened because I thought like, alright, I'm gonna pause. And I'm probably going to uh, reset the level because I don't want to do a death. But then I realize it's like, I already have the S rank for this mission. I don't need to do it again. Because taking a death is like the worst shit you can do in this game. Because why the hell would I ever need to use a gold orb? Game got checkpoints for days.
I think that's it for him. No, no, there's a little one little more phase. There we go. Oh wow. Yeah, get Ayame from Tyrant and Kur and I. We'll have the whole crew over there. That'll be actually a really fun experience if we actually get like a whole truly the whole crew inside there. We'll have the entirety of like the original time in the Nasagi cast. Um, the time in the Yukaze cast. And then we'll have uh, the Kurenai cast. What? Oh my, I keep missing the timing. You can reflect those meteors back at him to like instantly kill him. I don't remember how I reflected them last time, which is actually bad. <laughs> oh well, he's over. We got the guy from the cover of Geist from like that GameCube game. Look at that, the brothers, brothers justice. This is what I wish the Momochi battle was this um, in action time and it was because this is like a really fun ex that was really um it's just tough enough to, for you to pay attention and it's also like you know it's got a lot of motion there's a lot to do it's probably really bad for speed clears because you know it's just that much slower. Among us, the sussy bakas are no longer found. I wonder if that exists. I wonder if that picture exists somewhere. Did someone made like Mundus Among Us? I'm talking about like the first time when you fight a Momochi when he's like in the big in the big mode. Oh, dude, old Twitter. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Look at this. It's fucking like 2013 Twitter. Oh my god. Alright, uh, ni mission 19 right here. Like, like that one, I died. That was uh, a lot harder than mission 20 is going to be, I'll tell you that much. What's happening? Limbo has collapsed into the real world. What was once hidden is now laid bare for all to see. Revolution is in the air. I really wish I had like the Dante Exterminator of Demons mod where it turns everything into a Mexican telenova because it makes this game like really fucking funny. <laughs> Free from the demons. The path is clear for us to rule. What did you just say? The path is clear, clear for, for us, us to, to rule. rule. To rule what? This. Everything. Virgil. You mean like Mundus? No. No. We'll be nothing like Mundus. We'll respect our subjects, not enslave them. Subjects? It means you. It means humans. I thought we were fighting for freedom. It was his freedom we were fighting for, not yours. Don't be so simplistic. Humans are frail. 
They're like children. They need protection. <laughs> Not just from others, but from themselves. We, you and I, have saved them. You and I saved them? Who else? A human. Cat was useful, but... Useful? Cat saved my life. Cat held out under torture to keep your existence a secret. Cat led us through the tower to Mundus's lair. We would have failed 20 times over if it weren't for her. Listen, if you can't see the chaos the humans will cause, if you don't want the responsibility of protecting them, then stand aside. This story sucks. I didn't help you destroy Mundus so that you could take his place. I can't let you do this, Virgil. I can't let you stop me, brother. Stand aside. Don't do this. Virgil, please. Stay out of this! Cat's out here having like the worst week of her life. She's getting called trash. She's calling a bitch, whore, and a slut. She has her arm. She has her arm and shoulder broken. She's tortured. It's like, man, it's been horrible for her. All right, bros, it's time. The brothers' justice. The stare down. Virgil's so stiff. Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> no, Virgil. <laughs> I forgot. These are the fucking worst like summon swords and judgment cuts ever. <laughs> like there's supposed to be like all this lightning behind them and it just looks like, it's like the worst effect ever. This is so fucking terrible. <laughs> Now this is the part where he actually puts up a little bit of resistance. Yes it is. <laughs> Literally teleports behind you sort of shit right there. This is like the approaching storm. This is like a vert, the vert, the motivation status meme, but if you played it on a kazoo, it's really fucking sad. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh my god. You can reflect back his projectile at him and it knocks him down instantly. I didn't do that, but um. It doesn't matter. This fight is this fight is absolute shit. Oh 
I'm all charged up, baby. Let's do this. I know you're supposed to use um, Devil Trigger for this part. But I just love kicking Virgil's ass in this so much. You suck, Virgil. You're an awful, awful fight, and you deserve to lose. That's it. Bye, Virgil. It sucks. Dante, we need a sequel. <laughs> Vaya con Dios. Cat, you are no Trish. You are you are not worth fighting for, honey. <laughs> under my protection now you've chosen the wrong side you're not human Dante he never will be bro Virgil that's racist <laughs> get the fuck out of here Virgil you got owned We did it. That's Devil May Cry remake. That fucking story sucked. That was horrible. Truly one of my least favorite um, thematic experiences ever. Dante sounds like he's waiting for the fucking bus every step of the way.
Like this ending is total trash. Though I think like my favorite levels obviously were like the carnival level, the um, the Fox News level, and the uh, and the underground and what is it the underground um, no the the way to the tower to the Fox News level like everything else is just like kind of crap. Look at all the look at all this concept stuff that they used. Like this is like actually really cool stuff for the most part. They they make it's the game is really fun. But it's a, you know, then they have this god awful excuse of a story for, and with a character too. It's like it's, this is this is horrible. I do like seeing these like motion capture things. This is cool. Everybody likes the club level, but uh, I don't like the club level at, at all because um, I think I was said it before. I, had, I turned down the gamma like all the way to the bottom because I cannot look at that level without feeling sick. It sucks so much. Oh yeah, that's right. I can't use any of the music for this game because it's all licensed music. What is that? Why did he fl give us the finger? <laughs> I never actually sat down and watched the credits. Is that it? Is that all the, the bloopers? All right. That's all I need to see then. That's it. We did it. It was a bit slow, but hey, whatever. Hooray! That was great stuff, everybody. That was really, really fun. We all made it through this horrendous excuse of a game. Thank you, Devil May Cry Remake. You really know how to. You really know how to satisfy. You may. You know how to make someone dissatisfied for sure. No wonder people don't want. Didn't want to play this fucking piece of shit. Because mechanically, it's great. I love it. I love playing the game mechanically. But then actually sitting there through the story, and it was um, suffering. Th it was a suffer to get through the story. I just wanted to get to more gameplay. Oh well, though, it that's over now. We won, and that's what counts. So let's see. Tomorrow we have the next uh, tower run in, in Action Timonen. It's uh, Rinko is going to be taking her seventy-five floors in the tower. So check out that tomorrow. And uh, after that, I'll be off for a few days, and then we can go get a new schedule up to see what's going to be next. So thanks for coming by, everybody. And uh, as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.